Hello grade 12 students and welcome to a new technical English 3 lesson. Our lesson today is the last lesson in the review unit D part 3. Course book page 67. Kindly open your book and let's start our lesson. Let's start with the objectives of today's lesson. After studying this lesson you will be able to Write questions to get information about a poster. The second objective is to write a news item about a bridge for a technical magazine. Let's have a look at our starter today. In this starter, you have to write the general words in the box under the illustrations to make technical compound nouns. We have the words here, arm, face, field, head, jacket, molding, pad, plant, plate, poles, reaction, shoe, sleeve, and sock. You have to write them to make compound nouns. Like what? Let's have a look at the first example here. Injection what? We can't say injection arm or injection face or injection reaction, but we can say injection molding. Okay, now I'll give you some time just to uh, look at the rest of the pictures and try to complete them to form compound nouns. You have five minutes and you can start now. When you finish, play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's have a look at your answers. Number two, or picture B. Power what? Can we say power face, power field? No. What is the right answer? Great. Power plant. Number two, number three, picture number three. Chemical what? Chemical reaction. Excellent. Next, reflected. Pulse. Excellent. Collection. Plate. Great. Trick. Pad. Magnetic. This is very easy, I think. Magnetic field. Great. Well. Head. Rock. Face. Liver arm protective sleeve let's move to the next picture insulating jacket wind wind what wind soak break shoe great now let's move to the next slide Now please open your course book, page 67, exercise 13. Let's have a look at this exercise. L can you look at the picture here? Do you know the name of this bridge in front of you? Great. Where is it? It is in Dubai. You are a technical journalist. Imagine that the bridge below has recently been completed. Write questions to get the information on the fact sheet. The fact sheet here in front of you. We have here some information. And you, all you have to do is just to write some uh, questions about the information here. Okay. Name, Sheikh Rashid uh, bin Saeed Crossing. This is the name of the bridge. Location, Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Purpose, to connect localities of Al Jadaf and Abu uh, Dubai uh, estimated cost 817 million dollars number of arches 2 height of a uh, larger arch 205 meters uh, record made the world's tallest arch bridge on a bed uh, of, of sand okay and so on here the information here we want to, you to for form some questions about the information here uh, but before I leave you to make your questions 
uh, I want you to show you the video when you finish watching the video please go directly and bring your notebook and write as many questions as you can about the bridge using the information here in this fact sheet okay let's watch the video and then directly write the, the questions Now let's discuss your questions. The first question you might write, what is the name of the bridge? Great. What about the second question? Can you read your question? Great. What is it called? Both questions are the same. I'm asking about the name. I can say, what is the name of the bridge? Or I can say, what is it called? Good. Number three, where is it located or where is it? I'm asking about the place. Where is it? Question number four, what is the purpose of the bridge? Five, how much did the bridge cost? I'm asking about the money. How many arches does the bridge have? Seven, how high is the highest arch? Great. Some more questions. What record has this bridge made or broken? Nine, what makes this bridge a great achievement? Ten, how long is it? Eleven, what is the height of the deck 12 what do the foundations consist of 13 how deep are the foundation piles 14 how were the piles constructed these are 14 questions great now let's move to exercise number 14 and let's read the instructions. Work individually. Write and use items for the bridge as, it, as if it has been just completed. For a technical magazine, use all the information in the fact sheet. If possible, before you start, find out more information about the bridge using an internet search engine. You have to write here a news item for the bridge for what for a technical magazine you can use the information in the fact sheet in exercise 13 or you can add some more information by searching the internet okay take your time to write the news item okay take your time and when you finish play the video again to have a look at a sample new news item okay you can start now. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's have a look at the news item. And let's read the items, the news item together. 
The world's tallest arch bridge has been completed in Dubai in the United Arab of Emirates. The Sheikh Rashid bin Said crossing, also called the, the sixth crossing, has been built to connect the localities of Al Jadaf and Bur Dubai. It is an example of extreme engineering because it has been built not on a bed of hard rock but on a bed of sand. And it has broken the world's record for the tallest arch. It is twice the height of the Lubu Bridge in Shanghai, China, which was the tallest arch uh, bridge until yesterday. The larger of the bridge's two arches is 205 meters high, and the total length of the bridge is 1.6 kilometers. The height of the road deck above the water is 15 meters, and a total of 140,000 tons of steel was used in the construction. The foundations of the bridge consist of 200 steel reinforced concrete piles, 40 meters long and 2 meters wide. The piles were constructed by drilling holes 40 meters uh, deep into the sand and then filling the holes with reinforced concrete. Now please open your workbook page 42. Exercise 2. In this exercise, you have to use the words and phrases from the diagram uh, and the box to complete the description uh, of an EC generator. Be careful, because you are not using only the words from the box here, but also you can use the words from the diagram here, okay? You have 10 minutes to complete the exercise, and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Now, time to check your answers. Let's have a look first at the words in the box. Coil, commutator, electromagnet, north pole, south pole. Do we have to use all the, the words from here only? No. As I told you before you start the exercise, you can use the words from here, in, from the diagram here. Okay, now let's read and check your answers with what number two what number two great magnetic poles number three electromagnet number four armature number five coil six ends of this armature and connected to two what two slip rings excellent which rotate along with the coil these are made of metal and are insulated from each other there are two fixed steel what from the diagram brushes excellent number eight external power circuit great as the shaft as the shaft great number 10 north pole number 11 south pole the last one number 12 commutator great my dear students this is the end of our lesson today i hope you enjoyed our lesson till we meet again in a new english lesson goodbye